Hey guys, Sean T. Phillips here on that brand new DVD Blu-ray Tuesday Sean Bale today. They gotta go out today, see if things came out, see if things are on sale today. Today though, the big release that comes out, there is a bigger release that will be in stores this week because the last like two weeks or so, there wasn't like a really big release. Uh, today though, the movie uh, Trolls World Tour uh, releases today. And with that one, there's a number of different retail exclusive versions of that one. Uh, Target has, I believe, one that has a... Um, I think it's like a filmmaker gallery book. And then Walmart has like a gift set edition which comes with like two of the mini Funko Pop Pop keychain things, like pocket pop keychain things, I believe is what they are. Uh, two different ones in that. And then uh, Best Buy has the exclusive uh, 4K Ultra HD Steelbook Edition of that one. I will have, though, at the end of this video, a closer look at the Steelbook Edition of that one, so stay tuned for that, you know, at the you know right before the reviews in the video. Also, though, as well, there will be a whole bunch of brand new DVD and Blu-ray reviews for some things I received to review and talk about for you guys. So definitely stay tuned for those at the end of this video. And as always, too, leave me comments below, let, you know, letting me know what you guys thought of the DVDs, Blu-rays, and 4Ks that I reviewed, if you guys have seen them, what you guys thought of them, and also if you guys plan on picking any of them up. But anyway, though, guys, let's get going and see what we can find today. Into Target we go. And yeah, it's been like a couple weeks since I've been in, in here, I believe. I don't think I was in here like the last two weeks or so, because they don't really, they haven't really changed out the stuff, and I've seen other people's videos going into Targets, and like, it's been the same, you know, like onward and some of the same stuff featured for like a month and a half, two months, something like that, maybe longer, so it's been a long time. They, are, they have occasionally gotten some stuff, but not a whole lot. We'll see though, because today though, since you know Trolls World Tour comes out and they're gonna have an exclusive, you know, it should be out and everything like that. So we'll see, and I wanna see, you know, what the exclusive looks like and all that kind of stuff, you know, in person, but we'll see though if they have it out in here. Yeah, but over here though, they do have the uh, new stuff out. I don't see the exclusive edition of Trolls World World Tour. I'll have to head, you know, over to the actual section to look for that one. And some of the stuff is in the wrong spot because, like, down here, the 4K editions, those ones are down here in the spot where it was Star Wars, you know, so they're, they're in the wrong spots for those. And it, right here is where the 4K, so the 4K edition, it, that, that's the 4K price, but Trolls, this TV series, is in that spot. But that edition, though, you know, for four, the 4K version is $29.99 for that one. And then it's uh, $26.99 for the, um, you know, the Blu-ray DVD uh, combo pack version. And then for the, um, it's always hard to get these back in here. And then the uh, DVD version is uh, $22.99 for that one. But other than that, here in the front, like I was saying, it's been like the same stuff for the past like month or so. And even probably not even two months because it's been onward. It's not like the hedgehog the way way back. These are like how it's kind of always been in this spot here. So now like they finally have something new in here. I did see over here on the side as well. They have um, the you know the original first Trolls movie. Uh, and th that's in the wrong spot too. It's not $34.99. That's Avatar is in that spot. Everything's kind of in, this, in weird spots. There's also a double feature version which has both films in here. So that's not, a, you know, that's a cool, if you guys don't have the first one already. Like I said, I don't know the price because it's the Harry Potter gift set. It's definitely not that. But we'll go over to the actual section and see though if over there they have any um, of the exclusive ones or anything like that. Yeah, but in there though, they did end up having the um, Trolls, um, you know, ex uh, Target exclusive one. And it's the same price as the standard, you know, edition of Blu-ray one. And it's, you know, $26.96, and it has in there the 40-page uh, Filmmaker Gallery book in that one. And then um, also, though, they did have uh, two other new releases there in the actual section. Uh, one, uh, uh, Hope Gap they had, and then as well as The Lost Husband. Both those ones were $9.99 for those ones. But other than that, though, those were the only other new things that I saw in there. But now they're going to head over to Walmart. And I'll go to the one that's right over here first. This one locks the stuff up. But I'll go here first and, you know, just to see, to make, you know, because, like, today's the day they change out the actual section and get in a bunch of new, like, indie horror films and all that kind of stuff. So I want to check at least this one first just to see the stuff and see if they have it all out before I go to the other one, because just in case the other one doesn't have any of the new stuff out at all, uh, even though it's locked up, I can at least see it, you know, to get an idea of all the stuff they're going to have. But we'll head over to Walmart. Into Walmart we go. Yeah, but like I was saying, though, you know, today's the main day when they change out. But the first Tuesday of the month is the day they change out uh, the actual section. So, fingers crossed they have some of the stuff out. But like I said, it will be locked up in this location. So, I'll probably still end up going to the other one anyway. But this was right here since I was going to the Target to look at the exclusive one. 
So we'll see though, we'll see if they have them changed out though. Yeah, but luckily enough though, it seems like they have everything out. They actually have some new stuff over here as well. And in the actual section over there, it seems to me as if everything is out as well. Like I said, it's all in those cases. But since it's all here, I probably don't even have to go uh, because some of the stuff too that's new over there, I will be showing you guys reviews of at the end. But um, but luckily enough, it seems all switched out. It's not even that late today. It's only like, um, I think it's like 12.40 now. So it's like, like earlier. But the uh, Trolls World Tour 4K here though is uh, $27.96. I think it was... $30 at um, or $29.96 at Target, I believe, or $29.99. But their exclusive edition here of the um, one I was like mentioning is $27.96. And that one comes with the, um, you know, the, uh, what are the, the pocket uh, pop key change here. And it's actually, it looks as if it's the same price. Oh, so it's, no, so it's $24.96 for the Blu ray, and then it's, you know, uh, $27.96 for the exclusive edition one here. Here's a look at these keychains in the back here. So this is a cool addition of this one as well. Like I was saying, the standard um, Blu-ray, that one's uh, 27, um, $24.96. And then the DVD is $19.96. And then the two-pack movie here on, on DVD is 20, I guess is this the, you know, so back here is a Blu-ray. So yeah, so the Blu-ray is here. So it's $32.96 um, for the uh, Blu-ray pack with both the films, or $27.96 if you want them on DVD. Other than that though, right here in the front, I don't see anything else new here, uh, but over here I was saying there was a couple other new things I saw here, like this uh, Gangland Hooligans, Never Back Down, and this one here is um, $14.96 for the um, Blu-ray DVD combo, $9.96 for the DVD. This other one here called The Lost Viking, uh, this one came out today here as well, and that one's $14.96. Uh, for the Blu-ray and $9.96 for the DVD. This came out a week or two back, the Larry C the Cable Guy stand-up special. And I think this came out today too, this um, Tribal Get Out Alive one. That's $14.96. And then for the Blu-ray, $9.96 for the DVD. Like I said, I, I think this one was today. I don't know anything about this one. I have to read this one. It looks like it might be kind of interesting. I don't, like I said, I don't know anything about it. This is another one that looks kind of goofy. Like this one, Super, Super Mist. As you can tell, this is like a real like, uh, is this Australian film? Because like they would like a lot of times they say Miss in Australia, like again, um, Angry Boys and stuff. I think it was like you, you know Miss. I, I think so. I, th I think so. I don't know if this is or not. So I'm imagining that. No, it's Amsterdam. I don't know. <laughs> but that's just definitely a funny uh, title on this one. I don't know anything about this one as well though. Uh, but that's $14.96 for the uh, Blu-ray DVD and $9.96 for the DVD. And I believe this one was today as well. So there are a handful of new things here. This Things I Do for Money. Another one here. And that's $14.96 for the Blu-ray and $9.96 for the DVD. But we'll go over here to the section. And like I was saying, uh, they did change out a bunch of new stuff. But you always have to really look. Because sometimes there's like some extra things mixed in in certain other spots. But let's see here. I don't see anything else new here that I haven't seen in the past weeks. But new, new wise here, some of the new stuff that's here is, um, let's see, they're all up here. The, the one here, the um, scientist, uh, that one came out. I'm actually going to be we're talking about this one at the end of this video, and that one's a uh, 9.96 for that one. Yeah, you know, when I go close like this, you can see it pretty well. I think this Eastern Front movie, front movie might have been today for $9.96. This is the one I was talking about in Target that they had, the, the Lost Husband. I don't know anything about that one. If you guys have seen that, let me know how that one was. Uh, this is a uh, Shout Factory uh, release here, Proximity. That's another one I don't know anything about. If you guys have seen that, let me know how that one was. Uh, Blood Money here, which I'm going to have a review of that one at the end of this video. That's $9.96, as well as uh, Belzebuth. Which is $9.96 as well. I'm going to talk about that one at the end of this video. As well as a Truth, um, you know, Tooth Fairy, uh, you know, Root of Evil, which is the sequel to Tooth Fairy. Uh, that one is $9.96 for that one. And I think that um, Love Le Iceland, Love on Iceland may have been today. Other than that, though, I'm trying to see if there's anything else mixed in here new. Uh, they have been getting a lot of... Um, and people have been telling me there's a lot of uh, Shout Factory titles in here right lately. And I see a bunch down here. Like, I see Firestarter here, which is a great movie for $12.96. I see Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, which is a really good movie. $12.96. Same with Roadhouse. That one's only $9.96. They have Starman here. This is, uh, you know, a Scream Factory one for $12.96. Uh, you know, this was a Shout Select release of uh, Brewster's Millions, which is a great price. $9.96 for that one. I see any other ones in here. 
Uh, let's see, I'm trying to see if there's anything else. Oh yeah, and there's Escape from New York here. A great film, that one's $12.96 for the Blu-ray. Uh, also, Big Trouble in Little China is $14.96. And, and this is the one I showed last week, Bill and Ted's uh, double feature one for only $9.96 for the Blu-rays of those ones. I mean, other than that though, I don't see anything else new here. And it doesn't look like anything new here TV-wise mixed in, because sometimes there's some different things mixed in here. And I'm not seeing anything here though, as far as I can tell, mixed in. But yeah, definitely was a bunch of different new, th you know, new things in here today for sure though. And it's funny seeing this Dukes of Hazzard, because I've I heard there was like, because of the stuff with the show, that that one's like going out of print or something. I don't know if that's true or not, but that's definitely weird to see that right there though. Because I know the, the, the complete series I remember seeing online, someone's posting pictures for really high prices. And I don't know if that's like that, that's, still like that or not oh there is one other um uh, shot factory title here shot select this one though something happened to the case and like the artwork is kind of falling down to the bottom but it's only is it five dollars for that or is that in the wrong space i think it is the someone to watch over me i'm pretty sure that's in the wrong spot but that's one of the other ones so there's like i said there's definitely a lot of um you know um shot factory and screen factory titles in here into Best Buy we go. And I actually do see uh, over here they have the, uh, you know, they have Trolls over here. And the uh, Blu-ray of that one is a $24.96. The 4K is $27.96. And they do have the 4K Ultra HD one of this one. Like I was saying, this is a um, the 4K one uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook. And I'll be showing a closer look at this one uh, right before the review portions of the video. But this one here is a $32.99 for that one. Other than that, though, here, we'll take a look on the other side to see if there's anything else here. Now, um, let's see. Yeah, it's all the same stuff back here, but we'll check over in the actual section because there are probably one or two other things over there that I would think would be there. They don't seem to be updating back here anymore. And the, the Friday the 13th Steelbook, that one sold out. There's no more of that that I showed the last couple weeks here. But like I said, we'll head over to the section now, see what they have over there, though. Well, actually, over in this section, it's kind of think again. There's not, <laughs> nothing new over here. Trying to see if there's any of these spots have the stuff listed, but they're not out yet. No, it's all the same stuff because last week was Force of Nature. But yeah, like I don't see any of the stuff here. And like over here is just kind of older stuff. But yeah, as you see, there was a bunch of handful of stuff at, um, you know, at uh, Target and Walmart. Target had the two other things, but Walmart had a bunch of stuff. But I guess it's got that stuff they're going to have in here, though, in person, though. But yeah, so the main thing, though, only new thing in here I see is uh, the trolls. Uh, 4k if you guys go to best buy and see anything else out let me know in the comments below though but anyway though guys that was all for my dvd blu-ray tuesday shopping video today like i always say if you guys enjoy these shopping videos uh definitely give this video a thumbs up also leave me comments below letting me know though you know what you guys picked up on dvd blu-ray or 4k if you guys ended up picking up anything today also let me know as well if you guys have been checking out anything new on netflix if you guys watch any new movies or if you guys have been watching any new tv shows or any of that kind of stuff definitely let me know in the comments below also though like i said too be sure to let me know as well what you guys thought of the dvds blu-rays and 4ks that are reviewed at the end of this video if you guys have seen them or you guys thought of them and also if you guys plan on uh, picking any of them up but before we get to the reviews though now we will head to the drive throughs i feel like i should be like in those beans commercials when it's like roll that beautiful beans footage i feel like i should be like roll that beautiful drive through footage <laughs> or something like that but roll the drive through footage into the burger king drive through we go What can I get for you today? Hi, so I need to get a double cheeseburger plain, please. Okay. And then just a um, a small fry and a small onion ring. Okay. Sure, anything else? And then just uh, two uh, sweet and sour sauces, please. Okay, so and that'd be 967. Okay, thank you. Thank you. To the Arby's drive through we go. Hi, all. 
Hi, obviously, that when you're ready. Hi, so I just need to get a small uh, order of the curly fries and then a snack size order of the sweet potato waffle fries, please. Is that a beef and cheddar? No, so it's a small order of the curly fries and a snack size order of the sweet potato waffle fries. Gotcha. All right, then. I'll get all that for a Okay, thank you. Into Tony's Mexico. Well, drive through. How can I take your order? Hi, so I just need to get a burrito with just eggs, potatoes, and cheese. Eggs, potatoes, and cheese? Anything else? And that was all. Thank you. Hey, thank you. Hi. Okay. At the Panda Express drive through we go. Hi. So I just wanted to get the um the two two entree a plate I, I guess it is with just the double string bean chicken breast and sure, the would you like to mean a rice with that? Um fried rice with that please. Fried rice, double string bean, you've got it. And, Anything else? And then on uh, the medium side um order of the um chow mein we're waiting on the sh waiting on the string is that okay um yeah that's fine okay so then the medium size uh chow, um, chow mein and then the medium size um fried rice okay you got it and then just um two orders of the veggie spring rolls two orders so you want four pieces in total uh yes please uh, right. and then just four sides of the sweet and sour sauce please you got it thank any you sauce or soy um yeah just some soy sauce as well please sure. any drink um no thank you and did you want to donate a dollar today for ready children's hospital um yeah that's fine all right we'll go ahead and see out the window thank you okay thank you There's a really interesting conversation going on outside over there on the side. This guy's talking about how he's like, it's like a, it's an interesting drive-through thing to hear. He's like, I'm, you know, facing life without parole, and he just said now he's he he lost 15 years and stuff. So like, I don't know what's going on, but it's, and every, I think everyone's like the drive-through person in there is probably hearing these, all these conversations. But uh, now though, we're gonna head, you know, home for the new uh, DVD and Blu-ray reviews. Now before we get to the reviews, I want to show you guys a closer look here at the really cool uh, Trolls World Tour uh, Best Buy exclusive steelbook release here. And like I was saying, this one is exclusive to uh, Best Buy, the and it's a 4K Ultra HD steelbook, which includes the 4K, the Blu-ray, and a digital code of the film. And I want to say a big thank you to you know to High Def um, Ninja for sending over a copy of this one to show you guys and you know give you guys a closer look at this release. And definitely check out uh, High Def Ninja's uh, website as well. But here's a closer look at the um, the steelbook of this one but a really really cool I really love the design and the look of this one here you have the you know the trolls hands doing the rock symbol here and here's a look though at the back of the steelbook let me see you look on the side here look here at the side and then inside here I'll take out the discs too uh, so you can see behind it but here's the, the 4k disc as well as the blu-ray disc of the film and here's a look though you know, inside at the artwork inside the steelbook as well. But like I was saying, a really, really cool release here for the uh, Best Buy exclusive 4K Ultra HD uh, steelbook release here of uh, Trolls World Tour. And the first one I got here is from Paramount. And this is one that I really liked a lot. And it's a movie here called Body Cam, which stars uh, Mary J. Blige and uh, Nat Wolf. This also has the actor who was in, um, you know, uh, Dexter. He's in here playing the uh, police chief. This is basically, though, about in the beginning of this movie, you see this, uh, this cop who's going up to this car, uh, you know, because of the like doing like a routine like traffic stop thing because uh, like the car is acting strange and basically though you see the cop from the dashboard cam like something happens when the cop is like thrown into the sky like some kind of something pulls him in like all the way into the sky it's like something crazy happens and basically though uh you know um mary j Bly's character and nat wolf and his character is like a like a rookie cop who's kind of just started being you know on the force and everything she gets partnered up with him and they're like going on the rounds and everything and they get a call that the one officer, you know, was 
something had happened to him. So they get to the scene and then she ends up looking at the dashboard cam and the, and the video is all pixely and strange and she sort of sees it. Then when she tries to show, uh, you know, Nat Wolf's character, uh, the video is missing. And they, they basically is what's going on is she saw something and she knows that there's some kind of a something, you know, kind of paranormal or something going on that she noticed and is really throwing her what, what has happened. So it's basically her trying to get to the bottom of this whole thing, get to the bottom of who was in this car during the traffic stop and trying to figure out who that person is, trying to exactly figure out exactly what happened to the other cop who was, like I said, thrown, which she saw in the video, which is now erased. So the, so the other officers that are, came to the scene are like, well, how, how did you see this? And why did, you know, how this video is missing? There's absolutely no video on the dashboard cam. How did you see this? And it's, it's a very, very, some very, very creepy stuff. And I will say too, it's also very sad. Like at the end, it's a very, very sad what it all leads up to and what the meaning behind everything was. But this is one I would definitely recommend you guys check out. Really, really like this one a lot. Has a lot of horror aspects in it and drama and all that kind of stuff all kind of mixed together. But really, really like this one. The next one here is from RLJ uh, Entertainment. This is also a Shudder original release. I believe you say this is called Belzebuff, I believe. And this uh, stars Tobin Bell, of course, you know, who's known, best known for playing, you know, Jigsaw in the uh, Saw films. And this is basically, though, about, um, it's essentially about, like, weird sort of things that are happening with um, dealing with, like, this ancient demon. Essentially, though, um, it starts off like with this at like um, at the hospital, and this this couple gives birth to this baby, and um, then this woman who co goes into like like who's like a nurse, she kind of cracks up and starts attacking and kills these babies that are in the hospital, and then um, it's kind of like what leads up to this. So like the cops are kind of investigating the thing. Uh, the one baby you know doesn't the one baby is okay because they have the baby, but the other babies are you know what happens. But it's essentially though uh, occurrences like this are happening. There's people like cracking up and killing people and all these sort of things that sort of seem as if there's some sort of a demon demonic kind of possession and it all kind of relates to in a way because they're always seeing visions of or the guy is around um, you know Tobin Bell's character and it's kind of like what is his meaning of this is he you know somehow connected to this or is he is he trying to help what exactly is going on with him and why is he there but it's a very very creepy uh, possession movie and it has a lot of really different stuff and it's not like um, all the kind of typical stuff you always see there's a lot of really different kind of things of what happens in this one but I like this one here a lot like I said this one is called uh, Bells Above uh, the next ones here are all from MovieZing.com, and I'll have a link below where you guys can order these ones for the best price. This one is also um, uh, the company behind this one. I'm not sure the company. I'll have a link below for uh, you know the company's name, but this is um, you know uh, Fangoria presents this film, and it's called Porno. And this is this is great. This movie has the kind like a, a little bit of a vibe like the movie Demons did. It has that sort of feel. And it's basically though about a group of people who all work at a movie theater, and I think this was set in like '94 or 95, right when um, Encino Man and League of Their Own came out because the characters work in a movie theater and those are the two films that are playing in the, in the theater. And basically, though, uh, the manager, though, is like, um, he's like a really, really religious guy and all the people that work there as well are really religious as well, like the, the teenagers and stuff that work there. And... Um, Basically, though, um, you know, they, they have their own sets of weird stuff that they're doing, but the manager's, like, leaving them alone that night, and he's like, listen, uh, you guys can chill out and watch a movie. You guys can pick a movie to watch Why, you know, I'm leaving, and I'll be back at midnight to lock the place up. And they end up discovering, though, when they're there, uh, they find that the, there's, like, a curtain covering this room, and it's all boarded up, and they go downstairs, and they end up discovering this old film print in this basement. They also decide, discover down there is also the whole other movie theaters down there as well, a whole another screen that was all covered over they have no idea why uh, they see like posters for adult films down there and everything they're like well what was going on in this theater before and essentially they discover this old print which they put on and it ends up being this uh, like sort of a sat satanic kind of adult film and of course they put it on and it ends up like unleashing something that comes out and it's sort of like a uh, you know it brings out this like this woman and it's like kind of coming after everybody and like she's trying to like seduce them and it's like has really bad things that happen to them. Uh, it's a, it's, it's really I, I actually really liked it. Like I said, if you guys are a fan of the movie Demons, it has that kind. It's it's kind of vibe to this one. This one was actually a top recommendation. This was a very very a uh, really really fun movie. Uh, really like this one a lot. Uh, the next one here is from Movie Zing as well, and this is also from um, uh, Showtime, and this is a series 
called Work in Progress, and this is the complete first season of the show. This I really love. This was a, a great show. And what's really great, too, is um, Julia Sweeney, you know, of course, who is best, best known uh, for playing Pat, and it's Pat, which is like one of my favorite movies. I always absolutely love that movie. I know it always had kind of mixed reviews and everything, but as a kid and everything, I remember watching that movie so many times. I always liked the Pat character on SNL. And I didn't always see too many of the shorts, though. I kind of first discovered Pat with the movie. But the, in the, the show, though, it's this is focusing on a woman who's 45 years old, and, and she's basically having all sorts of kind of, um, kind of going through like a midlife crisis, and she's kind of depressed, and she's not happy. She's having bad relationships with, with the women that she's dating, and all sorts of troubles that are going on. So she has these almonds, and I think it's like a, a number of almonds she has on her table, and she's like, when these almonds, when I eat, I'm going to eat an almond every day, and when it's when they're gone, I'm going to kill myself. And she's like really depressed, and but she, but she basically, though, she ends up meeting um, this, you know, this uh, trans guy that she starts to kind of have a relationship with and starts to date. But when they go to a, uh, a, a bar, they end up seeing Julia Sweeney's character there. And the, the main character, though, she's like her whole life was kind of haunted by the Pat character because she always was her set. People always would say they didn't know if she was a man or a woman was giving her lots of grief in her life. And that character really gave her a lot of problems. But she ends up meeting her and kind of confronting her at a bar. And then they kind of have this friendship and everything. It's a, a really, really great show. I really like this one a lot. If you guys have seen this show, let me know what you guys thought. But like I said, too, just loved having, you know, seeing Julia Sweeney on here. I thought she was great. Uh, and the next one here is um, from Movie Zing as well. And this is the, um, the the edition here that has the Blu-ray 3D, the Blu-ray, and the digital code of Trolls World Tour, which is, you know, the new uh, Trolls film. Which I really loved the first Trolls movie. I remember seeing that one when that came out and how much I was, like, surprised with how much I liked it. And this one, though, is the character, you know, of, you know, the, char the Trolls characters now. Uh, you know, and, and the, the outcome of what happened in the last movie. And um, this one, though, they come to discover, you know, it's about, you know, Anna Kimner's character who's like the, the queen of all the trolls. And she comes to discover, though, that there's all this, there's more trolls out there. She kind of thought that the, all the trolls in, in their village was all there was. And they discovered, though, that there's all these different lands of different trolls. And they all have this one string. And the string basically is kind of controls the music. Because if you guys know the movie Trolls, it's, you know, it's a musical. And they, and they basically, the way they do the music is they kind of take pop songs and then kind of change the lyrics to kind of make them have like a troll kind of vibe and change the things around and everything. But they come to discover, though, that there's different, you know, versions of these tr uh, other areas of trolls. And one area, they have a string that controls like rap music. One controls country music. You know, like all these different areas. And uh, one of the uh, rock um trolls kind of is kind of challenged and wants to kind of control things and be the top of, of the music and everything and basically though Anna Kendrick's character wants to go around and find these other troll villages and kind of see if they can come together and that's basically what it is it's like a journey movie of her going to the other different areas and stuff with Justin Timberlake's character you know the other troll and it's kind of it's, it's a really really fun movie on here though this has the um dance party mode on here which is learn dance moves sing along and enjoy surprises and more also has on here delete scenes it has on here an exclusive original short film on this one so a bunch of different features on this one here but like i said really really a uh, fun movie here and the next one I got here is from MovieZing.com as well. And this is also from RLJ Entertainment. This is also a uh, Shudder uh, film as well. This is a movie here. It's a really interesting, like, post-apocalyptic, kind of end-of-the-world uh, type film here called Jessica Forever. And it's basically, it kind of has a vibe a little bit to, like, Mad Max. It has that kind of feel mixed with, like, a Lord of the, Lord of the Flies kind of film sort of vibe. It's basically, like I said, a post-apocalyptic thing where it's about a group of, like, there's, like, basically bad people have gone and like taken over and kind of made things a, a nightmare and all sorts of problems. It's about this one woman though who has taken a group of these boys and they're basically go you know who were were doing bad things in the world and causing all these problems with that's what's happening. Now they're all kind of coming together with her trying to kind of fix and stop all the terrible bad things that are happening and kind of trying to survive and kind of trying to like reign and take over for, you know and kind of fix things in their own way but why there's all these horrible things going on around them and everything. This is a really interesting uh, French film here. I really like this one a lot. Like I said, this is called Jessica Forever. 
The other one here is from um, MovieZing.com as well. And this is also from uh, Ruthless uh, Studios. And this is an, an anthology film here called um, Conjure X. Come for the hexes, stay for the booze. And this one here is all kind of anthology, you know, uh, horror anthology, dealing with stuff, dealing with like um, paranormal. Uh, one segment, I think there was like one or two that were dealing with like a, a possessed doll, kind of like the Twilight Zone episode, kind of like with a doll. Uh, there's a handful of ones on here, but some really, really good... Uh, segments on here like I said dealing with um on here all kind of stuff dealing with you know uh, hexes and p uh, possession type things and all all that all that kind of stuff kind of you know thousand to possess and all those kind of things but if you guys are a fan of anthology films I would definitely recommend you guys check this out and like I said this one here is called Conjure X and this one is from MovieZing.com as well. And this is one I was excited to let you guys know is available. And this is from James Bossimo. And this is uh, Catch of the Day 2. This is basically, though, about these guys who are these cops. And they're kind of having all sorts of troubles and the kind of people they encounter and come across. And what's fun about this movie, though, is I have a, a little cameo in this movie of a thing that I shot for the film about me talking about the cop and, like, my encounter with him. And I'm saying all this, like, ridiculous kind of stuff and all that kind of things. But James Bossimo, though... He always does an amazing job, too, with um, getting, like, really fun cameos in the film. So there's, like, all kinds of different cameos throughout the film in here. Some really cool... I don't want to spoil it, but there's, like, a whole ton of ones. Like, people you'd recognize. Like, even one guy who was on, like, America's Got Talent who was, do, like, doing the screaming. Like, all these different people I recognize. So it was really cool. Uh, he's done... You know, gets a lot of really cool people in his movies. Like I said, one of the guys know this one was available. And this is uh, Catch of the Day uh, 2. And this is the unrated version of the film. And the next ones here are both from Vi Vision, and this is a really, really cool release here. This is one I'm so excited about, and this one as well. Uh, this one I checked this in my, um, you know, U.S. Blu-ray player, and this one isn't region locked, so this one works no problem in any U.S. Blu-ray player. You don't have to have like a region-free player or anything like that to play that. This one played perfectly fine in my region A player, and this is a really cool uh, collector's edition set here of the original series of Outer Limits. This is the complete series, you know, the complete original series of the Outer Limits here, and I was saying in this really cool hard bound uh, box set. I really love this this box that this set is in here. Now, I'm going to show you guys a closer look inside. This also has a whole ton of features on here. So tons and tons of features on this release. But it's a great anthology series. I don't remember when this ran in the 60s, I believe. And it was around the same time as, you know, The Twilight Zone. You know, which was another anthology series as well, of course, which they were around the same time. Out of Limits was always more in the science fiction, and then they had some horror aspects as well, and stuff with aliens and stuff like that. Uh, you know, and but it, you know, it, the Twilight Zone wasn't as much uh, science fiction kind of stuff. It was more like a kind of a mixture of all types of different things, you know, for the anthology segments. But both of them were great series. But I've never had Out of Limits on Blu-ray, so really glad to have this set here. But a really great collection. Like I said, here I'll let you guys know some of the features on here. Uh, it has 45 audio, com audio commentaries, including three exclusives to this edition, uh, alternate, alternate, or, or, alternative cuts of the forms of the unknown and the galaxy being, uh, interviews on here, uh, cre uh, creature features on here, Museum of Television and Radio, William Pally, uh, uh, Television Festival uh, saluting, you know, uh, the Paley Festival, you know, saluting the uh, Outer Limits, original and uh, TNT uh, promos, TV spots and radio spots. Also has on here uh, The Unknown Unknown, an essay by David S. Sharo, uh, season one and two photo gallery, 60 page booklet essay by David F. S. Sharo. I'll show you guys though a look inside here. And it's, you know, like I said, it's the. Um, the complete series, so it was ran for two seasons, and here's a look though inside at the discs and everything like that. Uh, and this one here is a, um, like I said, it's an 11 uh, disc set. So season two here has uh, four discs, and then season, uh, you know, one here that is a seven uh, disc set as well here. But like I was saying though, there's tons and stuff, tons of features on these ones, uh, all kinds of different, you know, commentaries and lots of different stuff. So a really, really great release, uh, picture quality as well. Uh, they all, the the episodes all look great here definitely like worth the upgrade if you guys do not have the series on blu-ray and like i said really cool to have it all together in this box set and this cool hardbound set as well but in here though this has a you know um 
you know, an essay about the show. It has, you know, pictures in here. It also has an episode guide in here, which is cool as well. So it has, you know, the name of the show, you know, the name of the episodes on here. And then it has like, you know, the, the guest stars that week in it, like Cliff Robinson and, you know, like people who are the guest starring in each particular episode. And so it has a picture of all of them. So definitely a very, very uh, cool uh, release here for sure. Like I said, really excited about this release. Like I said, they all look great here on Blu-ray. And these are, um, you know, this set is available from um, Biovision. Like I was saying too, this is uh, totally region free. You guys can play this one no problem in US players. Uh, the next one here is from Biovision as well. This is one I want you guys know is available. This is a series of films from the, this is from the Confession of series. And this one has on here uh, three different films. Confession of a, um, you know, Confessions of a Window Washer, Confessions of a Pop Performer, and Confessions of a Driving Instructor in here. And this set as well, this is region free as well. I put this in my US uh, Blu-ray and DVD player and this one played fine as well here. And this is, you know, each film is on its own uh, disc here as well. Like I said, the one of you guys know that this one uh, was available. And the next two here are both from ITN Distribution. This is a movie here called uh, The Scientist. And this is a pretty cool movie. This is basically though about the scientist whose wife he finds out that his wife is really sick and she's not doing well and it's looking like she really only has a little bit of time left to live and you know the scientist though he, you know he's doing these different types of experiments on things and he's not he doesn't want to accept this you know he he wants to use his research to try and find a cure and a cure way to cure his wife so he starts doing kind of like reanimator kind of experiments and he's kind of trying to do experiments or trying to bring people back from the dead and he's trying to of course he has to figure how he's going to acquire these bodies and he wants to do anything he can though to try and like I said save his wife and it's kind of him going through all these different things and like you know he's like doing research at the where he works that he's not supposed to be doing and he's getting in all kinds of trouble for kind of messing around with like the stuff that they have he's like well if we do this I really think this could bring back a dead person and and revive a person and all these type of things and they're like well you're not supposed to be doing this and you know you're you're not being paid to do this so he has all sorts of troubles and stuff like that but it's one of those movies where things continuously get worse and worse and worse and it's more and more problems like I said it definitely has a reanimator kind of vibe to this one here and like I said this one here is called uh, The Scientist uh, the other one here is uh, from ITN uh, distribution as well and this is uh, Tooth Fairy uh, Root of Evil now this one is the sequel to uh, Tooth Fairy and now uh, if you guys saw Tooth Fairy this one you guys can still find occasionally in Walmart as well I've seen it um, I've seen some pictures and stuff so I know they occasionally still have it in there uh, this one though if you guys are remember I had a, a cameo on this one when the character was looking up uh, the Tooth Fairy trying to find out about you know the origins of the Tooth Fairy because it's basically though about an evil Tooth Fairy that's going around and uh, killing people and it's like a crazed like Tooth Fairy it's a it's very creepy concept I don't know the Tooth Fairy always like you know kind of like the, it, that idea really works well for a horror movie like the idea of this thing and this is like I said it's about a bad Tooth Fairy and this is about someone that you know had survived through this Tooth Fairy before but now though he's gotten like a reunion with his friends and when they come back together the tooth fairy is like coming after them and kind of hunting them down when they're together and everything like that so there's all sorts of crazy stuff going on this is a really really fun uh you know creepy movie like i said i would definitely recommend you guys check this one out and also uh ch definitely check out the first movie as well but this is also one of those ones too where even if you haven't seen the first movie though you'll still be able to understand what's going on it's not like one of those ones where you won't be able to pick up what's happening or anything um the next ones here are from gravitas ventures and this one here is called uh, dwellers the curse of uh, Pastor St uh, Stokes, and this one was basically though about this pastor who ends up, you know, acquiring this church because the guy there, you know, he had passed away. And but but he comes to find out though when he goes to this church though that there's all sorts of weird go-ons that are happening to the people that are there, kind of like possession type things and weird sort of things. And he basically kind of comes into this. He's like, oh, I'm now at this church, and he's kind of excited to have this church. But at the same time, he's realizing that there was some mis mysterious stuff that had happened to the pastor who was there before who had died. That there was something, you know, there's some unanswered questions to that. And he starts to go there, and he starts to realize that 
people in in the church are all having these sort of weird go-ons happen with them and it's basically though you know like paranormal and all kind of violent paranormal type things and he's starting to try to figure out exactly what is happening and how he's going to you know stop this whole thing and kind of getting things under control and everything uh, the other one here is from Garota's Ventures as well this is a movie called Lexicon or Lexion Lexon I don't, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce this Le Lexion Lexon I, I'm not I'm, no, I'm probably saying this one totally uh, wrong here uh, this is from the you know the director who also did a movie that I liked uh, reviewed a little while back called uh, the the called the shed I think it was called the shed it wasn't the one shed that RLJ put out it was another film called shed which I really liked that one a lot as well and this one though is set in like a um, kind of a post apocalyptic like end of the world setting where you know but dealing with like a political kind of voting in that type of a world of when that kind of thing has happened. And, and, you know, it kind of has, like, vibes of, like, um, stuff like Waterworld and Mad Max and The Walking Dead. All that kind of, like, community together type thing. And it's basically, though, about this one man who kind of, like, is controlling all of this stuff. And kind of, and he has all these kind of people that work for him that are going around and, like, did you know, dividing up the food and the bread and kind of controlling everything. And it's about a group of people, though, who are trying to deal with what is going on and, and the mistreatment and all that kind of stuff. And they want to try and, you know, change this. And like I said, it deals with, like, the, the, the political aspect of, like, voting in and trying to have someone else who is in a lower tier position come in and kind of try and change things and make things more even for everybody instead of this one guy kind of controlling everything and making everyone's life miserable and all that kind of stuff. But... Like I said, it has vibes of Mad Max and all those kind of things all combined into to one here. And like I said, I'm not sure how to say this right. I, Lexion, I hope, I'm, I'm probably saying it totally wrong, uh, though. Uh, the next ones here are from Grouch's... Uh, no, the next ones here are from, um, you know, um, Samuel Goldwyn uh, here. And um, this one here is called Stray, Doll, Stray Dolls. And this one was an interesting movie. It's, you know, this one has um, Cynthia Nixon is in the film. And it's basically, though, about uh, these this girl that ends up coming to work at this hotel, this, like, motel. And Cynthia Nixon is, like, the manager of the place. And basically, though, these girls meet there. And the one is kind of, like, squatting there and kind of hiding out. The other one is trying to, like, kind of, like, work and, like, um, really, like, do the best she can here. And basically, though, they kind of come together. Together, and they come to find out though that Cynthia Nixon's character is like has all this money because of these things that she's doing and all, all this kind of stuff and she basically though they come up with the idea of trying to rob and, and get this money and get this stuff from her but it's one of those kind of things though where it becomes like an absolute nightmare because like once you do this one thing it becomes all these other problematic things are coming after them by doing this so it's kind of like it becomes a whole absolute nightmare of a situation of what they're going through and then things can you know continue it's one of those things where things escalate and get worse and worse and worse as things go along and this one like i said here is called uh, stray dolls the other one here from uh, samuel Goldwyn is um movie here called Endings Beginning, which stars Shailene Woodry, uh, Jamie Doran, and Sebastian Stan. And this one is basically, though, about, you know, Shailene Woodry's character who had gotten into a recent breakup, and then she ends up meeting uh, this one guy that she starts to like, but then she kind of, like, meets the one guy's friend, and she kind of starts to, to like him. And it becomes this whole big thing because she sees the one guy, but then she's, like, sneaking off and seeing the friend, and then it, like, she's trying to make sure that he doesn't find out about it and it becomes like the ups and downs of this this relationship with all these kind of these kind of hurdles that are going on between them and all that kind of stuff where she's trying not to let the other guy find out about it and all that kind of stuff here but I actually like this one a lot I thought Shailene Woodry did a great job in this one like I said this one is called uh, Endings Beginnings uh, the next one here is from uh, Tempe Digital and you can get this one from uh, Make uh, makeflix.com. I'll have a link below, though, where you guys can order this one. And I heard, too, that they're going to be releasing soon uh, Skinned Alive on uh, Blu-ray, which I cannot wait for that one. And this is, you know, um, J.R. Bookwater's film uh, Ozone. You know, he also directed, you know, The Dead Next Door. And this one here, this is, I had never seen this one before. This is a great movie. It kind of has vibes of, like, stuff like Slime City a little bit, like a little bit of that kind of feel to it with some of the creature kind of stuff and, like, the goriness of some of it. But this is basically, though, about, you know, 
this type of a drug that is going around uh, where it's like making people kind of... There's also one, too, it was an uh, Australian movie that kind of had a thing like this a little bit, too. I can't remember the name of it. But basically, though, uh, you know, this drug makes people kind of like melt down and weird sort of things happen to them. And it's basically, though, about the cops that are trying to investigate this whole thing and get to the bottom of this. But there's all sorts of... The one cop ends up getting injected with the stuff, so he starts having like a little bit of it. So he starts having these weird hallucinations and weird visions and seeing all these weird things but it's a really really cool movie i really like this one a lot and this one has on here though uh it's a two disc set uh the first disc is a blu-ray the other disc is a dvd but it has on here the restored 2020 edition of the film it has on here some of the feet the interviews it has a brand new commentary track on here with the producer and director jr bookwater as well as a 2003 commentary track on here. It has a uh, news channel 23 segment on the film, promotional gallery, uh, some um, behind-the-scenes footage on here, early test footage, uh, Tempe Digital, other trailers. Uh, disc 2 has the 1994 original VHS version of the film. It also has on there a 2002 audio commentary track on here from the No Budget uh, Pot Nightmares podcast. It has on here the, uh, the 1995 Japanese trailer on here, a Street Zombies trailer. I'll show you guys, though, a look inside as well. It also has, you know, like I said, it's a two-disc set. The one's a Blu-ray, the other's a DVD. And I like how it has like a, a VHS kind of look. And in here as well, there's also a booklet in here which has stuff about the production, all that kind of stuff in here as well. But like I said, I wanted to show you guys that as well in here. But a really, really cool release and a really, really uh, fun uh, film here. Really like, like I said, really like this one a lot. Uh, the next ones here are both from uh, Screen Media, and this is a movie which stars Tom Bergerar. Uh, Ber Bergerar? I always feel like I'm saying his name wrong. And it's called Blood and Money. And this one is basically, though, about his character who's going out hunting out in the woods. And he ends up coming across, like, this bag of money. And he also comes across, you know, this body, this body of someone that had died out there. And it's basically, he knows, okay, there's something has happened here. There's this bag of money. Obviously, somebody is going to come back for this money, and something has, has gone horribly wrong out here. And it's, like, basically dealing, though, with a, you know, a robbery of this casino, and that's why there's money out there. And essentially, these people are out there, and they're coming back for the money. And, of course, he grabbed the money, and they're coming after him. And it's kind of got, like, a... um a little bit of like a Rambo kind of like vibe to this one of him out there hiding and of course you know he was hunting so he has his stuff with him and it's basically him you know trying to you know deal with these people out there like I said it's got like a real Rambo kind of vibe to this one here this one has on here though uh, feature wise this has a making of uh, with uh, behind the scenes with interviews on here with the filmmaker and Tom Bernjar Bernjar I feel like I said I'm totally I feel like I'm totally saying his name wrong on this one the other one here from screen media is a movie called uh, Hope Gap here with stars Annette Benning and Bill Nye uh, and jo Josh O'Connor. And this one is basically, though, about, you know... Um Basically, this is a married couple who's been together for years, and all of a sudden, though, uh, Bill Nye's character is, you know, basically saying that I, this isn't working anymore. I, I can't be with you anymore. I, I, I need to go my own way. And this is a couple that you know had been together. It was a 29 years that they were together, and it's all of a sudden things have really changed. And Annette Benning's character has to try and figure out exactly what she's going to do and how to like kind of like if she's going to start dating again or because you know he's starting to see somebody else and it becomes this whole thing and she's also seeing her son and she doesn't you know it just becomes this whole thing about her trying to basically start over again and figure out exactly how to be single and how to not have someone around and it's a, it's a really well done character piece here uh the other one here is from um this is from uh, la la land uh, entertainment. And this is a movie which I, you know, I remember this one from years back when this came out. And it's a really fun movie with a great cast. It has like Rob Lowe, uh, Jimmy Kennedy, Thomas Hayden Church. Uh, who else was in here? Uh, Judy Greer is in the in the film. Uh, Sean Gunn, Jordan Ladd, and it's called The Specials here, available for the first time on Blu-ray. And I, like I said, I remember this one when this came out. This is a really really fun uh, movie. It's basically though about um these superheroes and Thomas Hayden Church's character is kind of like the head superhero and they're kind of like um, second tier superheroes they're not like the popular ones they're not the ones there's like ones that are more popular they're the ones that are kind of like not, like like I said the lower tier superheroes and basically once they've broken up like this they have to kind of try and figure out exactly what they're going to do because right at the same time before the breakup had happened things were kind of going well they were like starting to have their own like action figure line of course though there was all these problems with the action figures like they changed the looks of them and all these different things 
gangs. So like there was all these things that were like the, the, uh, the writing on the wall of this breakup that was happening. But it's essentially them trying to figure out exactly what they're going to be doing, why they're not a, a superhero team anymore, and trying to figure out what they're going to do from there. But it's a really, really fun uh, movie. Uh, the writer was uh, is written by uh, James Gunn. You know, of course, went on to do you know stuff like Slither and the Guardians of the Galaxy films. On here though, it has a brand new 2K scan from the uh, from the interpositive negative. It has a commentary track on here with uh, James Gunn, uh, as well as a commentary track on here with the director. It has on here a uh, making of on here with about the special uh, special effects. It has deleted scenes, uh, toy commercial, a new theatrical trailer in 1080p, behind the scenes photos. So lots and lots of features on this one. And the next one here is one I just want you guys to know was available from the Criterion Collection. This is a film here from 1997 called uh, Taste of Cherry. And on this one, though, this has a whole bunch of different uh, features on here. This has a brand new uh, 4K digital restoration of the film. Uh, it also has on here, though, a 39-minute sketch film, Taste of Cherry, on this one. It has a bunch of different interviews, an interview from 1997. It has on here, though, a program from 2017 on the use of landscape featuring a film scholar as well as a trailer on this one as well as an essay about the movie as well but like I said this is this one that I just want to get you know you let you guys know uh, was uh, you know available from the uh, Criterion collection here I have a link below where you guys can order this one this is from a uh, crude crude cinema and it's crude uh, comics Inc.com. Like I said, I'll have a link below where you guys can go to order this one. And this is a uh, Texas Death Tripping, the extended cut. And this is basically though about a group of these friends that are going out to like um kind of going out like a camping trip to the woods. They're kind of planning to go to like this big concert kind of thing. They're real like stoner kind of group of people. And they're kind of going out there, uh, you know, for this. And of course they're like, you know, it has like a vibe of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre because they end up getting to like this gas station. There's this really weird guy at the gas station. And he, and he has like people like chained up in the basement of the gas station kind of area, sort of. And of course though, these guys go out there into the woods. And of course someone is coming after them. Uh, Billy Blair is in the film and his character... He's basically trying to like get to like he, he's like kind of trying to get to this concert as well so he's like planning the whole thing and he's like and it's great stuff of him like kind of in the bathroom like talking to himself like oh I'm gonna get it all ready and I don't it's like it's great scenes of him in there there's some really funny kind of stuff but like I said this has a real like throwback kind of 80s vibe and has like I said a feel of like Texas Chainsaw Massacre that kind of vibe to this one and like I said you guys can get this one from Crude Comics Inc and I'll have a link below though for that as well. And the last ones here are both from uh, Eureka Entertainment. These are ones I want to let you guys know were available. And this is um, the film here. This is from the Masters of Cinema collection. This is number two, 230 from that series. And this is, um, you know, Throwdown here, the film here called Throwdown. And this one has on here, though, a um, 1080p presentation on Blu-ray from the stunning 4K restoration. It has Cantonese and uh, English audio options. It has optional English subtitles, a feature-length commentary track with Asian film expert uh, on the film, a feature-length commentary track on here with Hong Kong film expert, archival interview on here with the director, uh, you know, archival featurette, uh, TV spots featuring archival cast and crew interviews. And now these, both of these releases though from Eureka Entertainment, uh, they are region B locked, so you guys would have to have an all-region player uh, to play these ones. And I'll show you guys though a look inside here as well. It also has a um, you know a booklet in here which has you know some stills you know from the film the poster for the movie stuff about the production all that kind of stuff as well in here and the other one here from Eureka Entertainment is a movie here called The 2000 Eyes of Dr. Uh, Mabuse, a, you know, a film by uh, Fritz Lang here. And this one has on here, though, original German soundtrack, optional English audio uh, track approved by Fritz Lang, optional English subtitles, feature-length commentary by film scholar uh, and um, Lang expert David Callant, a 2002 interview with Wolfgang Prius, uh, alternate ending on here, and also in here, too, I'll show you guys a look inside here at the booklet and everything uh, for this one. This has a booklet with stuff about the movie and the production, all that kind of stuff, and some stills and that stuff as well in here. Uh, but anyway, though, guys, that was all for the review portion of this video. Uh, you know, like, like I always say, too, if you guys enjoy these videos, definitely give this video a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.